Jay McCullough reporting live. I'm with Mike Bianchi at Jackie and Son. The rest of the meal is coming out. Thank you. Sorry, we're doing a silly video. No worries. Thank you. This is this is formidable. I like that bread. Excellent. Thanks so much. Two extra plates. plates. Great. Thank you. Uh, so we got here. I got the menu because I totally forgot what we got here. This is the Taste of Home. Two sunny side up eggs, zatar, lebna, mezzi veggies. We got some uh, cukes there, some some grape tomatoes. Uh, pita bread on the side, nana tea with fresh mint, Mike Bianchi, very immediately pointed out the fresh mint, did a little ooh, which uh, he's not going to reenact for us on camera. Uh, Mike also got the, uh, what bread did you get here, Mike? That was the uh, pistachio rose bread. Pistachio rose, they've got a, a large bakery selection here, just to, just to give you a look, just uh, tons of stuff, tons of stuff on the bakery menu. Um, and then uh, the reason we came here originally, you said you got to get the French toast. So on top, pistachios, powdered sugar on the side with raspberries. Those are there. Some maple butter syrup, not just maple syrup, maple butter syrup, and, and fresh whipped cream. Whipped cream is rose infused. But... Rose infused whipped cream, rose water infused whipped yeah. cream actually. And then uh, you couldn't resist the breakfast sammy. Now you got that on a bagel. I don't usually do bagel breakfast sandwiches. I, I don't find the bagels conductive. You, you asked for a, a bit of a toast on the bagel. Yeah, the um, croissant was not available. Do you so mind if I bite into half of this? You can have the half. I can have the half. You okay. Half. We're not even doing a Venmo split here because it would have cost some 20 bucks to get out of here by taxi from Montclair. We're in one of the oranges right now. I'm not sure if it's southwest, east. There's a regular orange, I understand. South. It's, a, it's a pretty ripe orange, though. The weather's quite fair. Street parking, very cheap. We paid about 80 cents. This is very nice. This is very nice. This tastes like a good... What does this run you with the Austin Tom? Seven bucks. Seven bucks? Yeah, not bad. I think it's um, more recently compared to Dolce and Salado, their breakfast sandwich was six seventy five. I'm liking this a lot better, like, even, though, even though it's on a bagel, which is not my go-to. And they ask you salt, pepper, ketchup. You just got the ketchup. Sorry, you just got the salt and pepper. No ketchup. Yeah. Are you anti-ketchup on eggs? I don't put ketchup on eggs. Okay. Definitely not on if it was bad quality eggs, would you put ketchup, or you just never do the never do the eggs in the ketchup? Never. Now try some of the zatar. I could have gone with a little bit more zatar. Big fan of that. And uh, I'm, but I'm really looking forward to it. Lebna is a great breakfast. Some popping beets at the traffic stop here. And these runny yolks, these have been with us for a few minutes, but they're still just look at that ooze out. That is. That is lovely. Now it was a hard toss up here between this and the grains of Nazareth. Uh, it was also on the menu. That was smoky lentils and rice mix, three sunny side up eggs, Lebna and Harissa with roasted garlic tomatoes, crispy fried onions and parsley. That would have been great as well. But I uh, wanted to keep it a little bit lighter here with just the Lebna and the eggs. It's very nice. Your cucumbers. A good English cuc, I guess. Um, Persians would have been nice as well. Maybe a little tinier. Those is something you could pick up and eat. Try one of these tomatoes. Really nice. Um, and you didn't waste any time here. You bit into the rose pistachio bread. I'll take a little piece right now. How uh, you've had this before? You ordered it oh. with such confidence that I assumed. I'm confident in everything that they do here. Now you mentioned there's another Jackie. Jackie's Grill over in Montclair. Yep, they have a couple of other locations. Not as good. Not as good as just a subset of this menu. This is where you got to come to get everything. Yep. Now this, what is going on? I've never seen French toast like this. I and mean, the fact that they were even able to cook this. This is a full cut of a baguette. Yep. Now what else do you think they're using this baguette for? Their sandwiches, I guess? Um, I haven't seen it on anything else, so it could just be made. Specifically for French Oh, that Nana's tea with mint. Fantastic here. And they even gave us a little glass to put the put the mint, uh, sorry, to put the tea bag in when we're done. And I believe you got a latte. There's, look at that, just falling all over the place here with those. It's very generous with the pistachios. Oh. Um, and then uh, for Cynthia, a, another pistachio rose. I had the good sense to get this to take home. And enjoy that later tonight, toast it up a little bit. Uh, these eggs, fantastic with, with the Lebna. Right. And I'll take a bite into this um, French toast and see what we're working here. This is this is formidable. Mm -hmm. A few dishes, 
of Jim Cole Reporting Live have, been, have earned that title of formidable, and this French toast is definitely one of them. You gotta have the syrup and you gotta have the whipped cream. Okay, I'm gonna get a portion of this. Whoa! Okay. And I uh, might need some more pistachios. Let me just get a few more pistachios here. It's on there. And some of the syrup. Are you just pouring this over or you're dipping? Gotta Are we dipping? Pour. Gotta, gotta pour. pour it. Gotta pour it over from the height. From the height. Let's go. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. And this, again, I said maple butter syrup. Um, really like what they're doing here. The, the menu, we, we were standing in line. I let some people order first because the menu is just, it's a lot to take in. And we were just looking on the breakfast side. There's a whole other side here with sandwiches. Put the fork down. That is incredible. If you if you told me that you could take a baguette and make French toast this thick, they must have. You think they deep fried this? I don't even know. Man. This is. I don't know what the process is here. That's a Cremaland dairy truck driving by with with a lot of milk on board, probably. But again, we're we're sitting outside in the shade, but it's it's lovely here in South Orange today. That is great. Just the whipped cream is, you taste the rose water mm -hmm. through and through. And the pistachio, just an accent on there. Some of the best French toast I've ever had. Absolutely. And I wouldn't have expected it, really. So, this is their star dish. In my star dish. They, I mean, they don't really highlight the menu items. This is just from the griddle section. You got French toast, blueberry pancakes, and grilled cheese lumped together in the corner of the menu. It says griddle. So you, you might not even know, just looking at the menu, that this is one of their standout dishes, but don't pass this up. This is fantastic. Um, so I, any parting words? We get back to this meal. I, I just can't wait to dive into this. I'm just gonna make I'm gonna just make a total disaster of this, this egg plate right here. I've got nothing to say, I'm just eating. Nothing to say, just eating. Jay McCall reporting live from Jackie and Sons in South Jackie and Son, one son plural. Maybe they got a bigger family, but only one son is involved in this business venture. Um, stay warm out there. It's beautiful weather today, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.